Toyota Motors Philippines has kicked off the Toyota Young Marketeers Challenge or the TYMC, which is a student competition that recognizes the most creative, innovative, and effective marketing campaigns for Toyota's flagship passenger car, the Toyota Vios. What we wanted to do is, of course, uh, for Toyota to have a venue for the best marketing minds and look into a real-world marketing scenario. And with that, we're quite pleased that 10 schools joined and that from what we've seen today, we're quite proud of our uh, marketing students and, and really they uh, did their best. We also as a brand is a good platform for any marketing project. This being the best selling vehicle in the Philippines and that vehicle itself has many facets. No? It's a favorite of most Filipinos, it caters to the young market, corporate fleet, it's good on road, good on track, it's, so it's a, it has a, a very wide, wide uh, profile. And so it's a good, again, a subject for any marketing project. The objective of this event or this activity is to have or showcase a learning experience for college and university students to give them a platform to learn marketing strategies by having an inter-school competition where each school will be represented by a group who will be tasked to create an integrated marketing campaign for the country's best-selling car, the Vios. To kick off the program, Toyota invited the students and their faculty advisors to an immersion tour with Toyota's brand and marketing experts. To get the student teams more familiar with the product, the immersion program started with a tour of Toyota's plant in Santa Rosa, Laguna, where the Vios is being manufactured. The teams were also brought to Toyota's partner marketing and advertising agencies to learn from industry practitioners. Through this part of the immersion tour, they were able to see how campaign strategies are conceptualized and brought to life through different marketing channels. We considered, of course, the strategy, how, what was the story behind all the executions. We also considered creativity, how unique or how fresh the ideas were, the overall presentation itself. We all had a very hard time because all the presentations were very impressive, very detailed. We saw that they really put a lot of thought and work and effort into creating the marketing strategies. After weeks of developing the campaign, University of the Philippines Diliman team composed of William Alonzo, Samantha Ching, Anna Laurel, and Nathan Oranga was declared the grand champion, besting nine other colleges and universities that entered the finals round. Actually, I think everyone's still in shock, like we still don't know how to react. But of course, we're super excited for, of course, the trip and also how to spend the money that we were able to get. I think market research for this one, because in marketing cases, we're accustomed to studying queer FMCGs, like different brands na fast moving consumer goods. But then for this one, na it's a different market and also like a different category. Like we really had to study in depth, like who, who we are talking to and who our target is. I think it's the, the strategy that we put into it. Because uh, that's really our main focus here, aside from just the creative executions, just from using um, advertising or marketing strategies to build the campaign. We really put the strategy into it to make sure that everything that we're doing has an impact on the consumer and everything that we're doing is really not just a dump of all our ideas. It's something that's, that works together, that bonds all together into one big cohesive marketing campaign that would bring um, more growth or more like higher impact to Toyota and its stakeholders. Second place was bagged by De La Salle University Manila, while De La Salle College of St. Benilde and Tipolo came in third. The winning teams received technology packages and cash grants for their schools. Team UP Dilaman for being the grand champion also won a trip to Japan to visit Toyota's facilities in the brand's home country. Aside from these prizes, the winning team will also get a chance to have their winning campaign brought to life by Toyota for their marketing campaigns. I think well, one of the biggest challenges was we had very similar insights sometimes or similar creative slants on what we wanted to do and of course that made us nervous thinking that the novelty of our campaign would dwindle because they've heard it already from the other teams but then I guess what we learned is we just really have to believe in what we have because it's in, in its core very different and very unique and very powerful so we just had to really believe in our campaign and we were able to communicate it best. best. Well, since we come from a marketing background, and um, even if we learn some basic concepts in class, it gets really different when you apply it to the competition because you really have to think outside of the box. Like, not everything you learn in the classroom, parang yun lang yung meron. So, uh, this is a really good opportunity to learn even more about like real industries and real life uh, marketing concepts that you can apply. 
it's more of really expanding what you currently have. Because like in school, nga, you learn the technicals, but then here, not just application, but then trying to expand it to something that can contribute more, like not just to the company, but also to society. According to Toyota, they launched TYMC to provide college and university students a learning opportunity beyond the classroom. The company also said through TYMC, they're giving students a platform to practice their marketing skills and knowledge by creating industry-ready campaigns for a product that young marketeers can develop fun ideas for. Um, we're looking forward to more schools participating because from the comments that I got from the participants, this is a very, very good learning experience from them. Parang it's preparing them for the real world. So I hope that more schools and more students participate in the future. Um, and for Toyota, of course, we look forward to hearing more fresh ideas from the students.